Hello again, this is Daniel, back with another Book of the Week review. This week we're reviewing the title, Do You Matter? by Robert Bruner and Stuart Emery. It's a book all about the concept of design and making sure that design is at the heart of your core business strategies when you're actually starting to put something out to the marketplace, whether it be a product or a service. Um, both these authors have a strong background in sales and marketing and consulting. Robert Bruner spent many years actually working for Apple in their industrial design department and Stuart Emery is also a consultant as well and was involved with the MasterCard priceless campaign. So both of them have a very strong um, understanding of branding and also the idea of great design and how it impacts a company's success in the marketplace. The book starts off talking about the idea that human beings have a strong desire to design their life. Everyone out there chooses how they live, how their home is, what kind of lifestyle they have, how they dress. And these aspects are all driven by our desire to design for ourselves. And in that way, we also choose products and services that we feel match our own personal design, if you like. So it's very important when a business sets out to create a product or a service and put it out into the marketplace that they're actually spending the time to consider the whole experience of the customer and how they'll emotionally react to the product or service. Now that sounds kind of cut and dry, it doesn't sound like something that you know you think about when you go to buy something, but when you think about it, it's very true that we tend to choose products that we feel we resonate with emotionally. There's something about a certain product or a certain service that we choose for ourselves that we feel matches us as a person. And it's very hard to define what that is, and very often it's something that's just built into the product, just intrinsically. It's not the advertising or the marketing, it's actually something about the person who serves us or the particular product that we choose that we just tend to like. And that's exactly what they're talking about in this book, is this idea that these things are actually designed into the product or service and make a big impact on the person instantly. So in this way we can see that products or services that are designed very well tend to naturally rise to the top. They tend to move past the competitors, they don't need to do a lot of advertising and branding to start to rise up. It just happens naturally by word of mouth because people say, oh, have you heard about this? This is great, you should check it out, etc. So it's very important that we're very conscious of how much design actually impacts the, the overall customer experience. Something they talk about very early on is this idea that Design is actually invisible to most of us whenever it's good. However, it's when things don't work, when we get annoyed at a product or a service and we say, this doesn't work, I can't stand this thing or the way they do that in, in that business, that's when we actually des notice poor design is when it's not working. So it's very important that the way we create an experience for a customer, the way we design our products or services, make it so that things are seamless, so that there's not that room for people to notice something's not working. And something they say in the book is, if you think about it, if your business went out of business tomorrow, so if you close the doors of your shop or your practice or your office or whatever it is, would your customers miss you? Would they actually be upset and annoyed that you actually disappeared off the face of the earth? And if the answer is yes, then you're probably already doing some things that you're, which are really on track in terms of having great products and services. If the answer is eh, maybe or definitely a no, then you know that there's things that you need to work on, you need to improve. And this is where design comes in, because you need to start to think about what is it that would make a, a person actually be upset or frustrated if I wasn't around tomorrow? What would I be providing for them that would make such a difference that they want me to stay in business? And once you can answer this question and you can begin to, to design that into your products and services, that's when you begin to matter to your customers. Every time a customer interacts with your business, whether it's a product or it's a service, they begin to build a relationship with that product. And this is really important to know because the more interactions they have, whether positive or negative, the more they start to form a relationship with you. And the interesting thing is that the more things that they have happen, whether positive or negative, the more they will have a carryover effect into future purchase decisions. So it's almost like every product or service that you put out there into the marketplace has a legacy with it. It actually carries on after the product or service has been used up and this is really important because if we're just putting out crappy products or we're not putting out we're putting out second-rate service that has an impact down the track because the person remembers how they felt last time and that influences their buying decision this time 
Now this all makes sense, it seems like it's common sense when you think about it, but the challenge in business is that very often it's not us working as individuals deciding, okay, this is going to be a good product, I'm going to design it this way so that the person has a great experience. It's actually usually a committee of people. If you work in a corporation or if you work in a small to medium sized business, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have to deal with other people who work in the business as well who actually have a, a, an opinion and will choose what's good and what's not as well. So sometimes what tends to happen is we have this kind of committee approach to what we release to the market. Sometimes it might be, you know, a couple of people agree with a certain decision, other people don't. So we try to find a middle ground between the two. And what happens when we do this very often is that we tend to wash out all the impactful things. The things that really could make a difference for our product or service in the market tend to get um, erased. They tend to get, you know, whatever you want to say, moderated and controlled and pushed down so that we don't offend everyone. And in the book they have an idea where they talk about the 7 out of 12 problem, saying that you know, on a committee, if 7 out of 12 people think that something should happen, generally that's consensus and that makes sense. However, the problem is that there's still 5 out of 12 who disagree. And in those 5 out of 12, you might be pushing down an idea which could have a significant impact on your customers. Another great idea that comes up in this book is the idea that your product is a portal to an experience. And what that means is that whenever a person buys your product or uses your service, they're actually being transported, if you like, into an experience. They're having emotions, they're getting a need met. And so you have to be very conscious of that experience and think about strategically all the things that you can do to make it a great experience all the way along that, that um, path for the person. So this is a great idea is that when you're offering a product or service, you're actually offering a portal to an experience for that person. And particularly these days with online information sharing, that type of thing, if you give someone a bad experience, that can have a huge impact on your brand out there in the marketplace. Now overall this book has some great insights. I think there's some really clever thinking tweaks that you can use and it will really help you, especially if you're a higher level business person or if you're a small business owner or if you're a, you know, a solopreneur, it will really help you to actually tweak the way you think about how you design your products and services, particularly from the beginning all the way to the end of the life of that product or service. Not just the buying moment, but everything that happens before the person buys, all the way through their use of the product and especially if things go wrong, how you would take care of that person. That's the entire experience and that's really important for you to think about as a business person. This book overall is a great read. It's something that will give you good insights into the world of design, particularly high level industrial design. There's a lot of good stories in here about companies, how they reinvented themselves in, in times of crisis and, and how they evolved as a company using great design tactics. You'll probably find that there's particular brands in here that the authors like. It's a very honest, raw, somewhat biased book in a lot of ways. Companies like Apple, BMW, Ikea, Cirque du Soleil, they get a great rap in this book. The, the authors love them, obviously. Um, other companies don't get such a great rap and there's some pretty harsh comments throughout the book. So be aware of that. It, it does have very strong views on, on, on particular brands and the way they approach the market. It reminds me a lot of books by Seth Godin. If you've read any of his books, you'll know that he tends to have very punchy type um, you know, comments and, and ways of phrasing things, and I think that's very similar in here. It's, it's a fun read, it's very light, there's a lot of great pictures throughout the book you know, demonstrating the different brands and the impact they have. Um, overall, I think it's a great book if you're in business for yourself or if you're a CEO or you're a manager in a company. It starts to make you realize the impact that you have overall on a customer experience through what you design. Design shouldn't be just one portion of a product or service, it should be at the core of what you try to do with your products and services and putting them out in the marketplace. So Do You Matter by Robert Brunner and Stuart Emery, well worth a read, check it out when you have some time.